Hi beautiful people! So I'm not sure if this is a good idea to talk about or not, but I'm going to anyway and I hope that this isn't almost like throwing shade kind of, but like I think it has to be said. So I was watching TV with my roommate the other day and a commercial came on for a Christian dating website and I'm not going to say what website or anything like that and I would appreciate it if you don't um, call out the, the company by name just because I'm not trying to just throw shade at this one company like um, I'll get to this but this is not just like their problem like this is a, a problem as a whole for the Christian community and, and for the church and so I'll get to that but basically this commercial um, basically said that this this website was a place where good people find good people and it just kind of shocked me because like it's a christian dating website and so yes like as a whole like society sometimes we we say like oh like she's bad because she does that stuff or oh, she's good because she doesn't do that kind of stuff and so yes those labels are there but they're not that doesn't make it right okay let me read you a verse from psalms this is psalms 14 verse 3 all have turned aside they have together become corrupt there is no one who does good not even one. This verse it should humble you because we have all we have all made mistakes, we have all sinned, and we are all imperfect. There's only one person to walk this planet who is perfect, and that was Jesus. Even though Jesus was perfect and did so much for people, he was so humble and he never wanted the glory for himself while he was on this earth. He always um, would go into hiding after doing all these amazing miracles and all these things. He didn't want the credit, he didn't want the glory, he didn't want the fame. He chose to take the humble road or whatever you want to call it. Like Jesus was very, very humble and he never once ever thought that he was better than other people. Even though he literally was God. He always took the high road. He always, always took being humble over pride. In Philippians chapter 2, there's a beautiful chapter that talks about how we need to imitate Christ's humility. And humility is just kind of another word for being humble and um, meek and all that kind of stuff. And I'll read a couple of verses because I love Philippians and Philippians 2 especially. Like I have it completely highlighted. Like I love the section, okay? Starting with verse 3, chapter 2, verse 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death on a cross. Whew, okay. We are called to do some tough things sometimes, but Jesus, Jesus did the toughest things like ever, even imaginable. He died on the cross, which was literally like, not only the most like painful and just awful death, but it was so humbling because people who died on the cross, those people were the worst of the worst, the worst and the poorest and the lowest of the lowest. Jesus, took that death for us. That was him so humble and taking that for us because he didn't deserve it. He literally did nothing to deserve to die on the cross, but he did it for us anyway. Jesus was perfect, okay? Jesus made no mistakes. He was never sinful. He was tempted and had all the things that we, um, you know, get thrown at us every day. He had those things too, but he chose God instead. And often we choose ourselves, but Jesus chose what was right. And I think that oftentimes as Christians, we come across as these people who think we're so much better than other people because we call ourselves Christians. But in reality, we are not any better than anyone else. And that commercial made me mad. I don't want to say mad, maybe kind of frustrated because we are not better than anyone. And that first in Psalms, the first thing that I read for you was there is no one who does good. There is no one who has been perfect except for Jesus. And now, of course, Jesus is on the throne and he does take that glory because he is God and he is who we are going to worship in heaven one day for eternity. But while he was on earth, he took the high road. He was humble. And we need to take that high road as well because yes, we carry Jesus' name. We are Christians. We are followers of Jesus. But we are not any better than anyone else. And the only reason that we can do good things and, and to love other people and to do those things that make us seem good in society or whatever is because of Jesus. If you have any video requests, um, feel free to leave them in the comments because I'm home and um, I have a lot of free time on my hands. So I'm, I'm very excited to make some cool new videos and uh, I have a lot of ideas, but I would love any more that you have. So um, be sure to do that if you have some. Um, but other than that, I think that's all. So have a great day and know that you are so loved and so beautiful.